My name is Saraya Dean. I was born in Sri Lanka. My work is centered around empowering Muslim women. For a long time, men with beards have been telling us what we should believe, how we should believe, and what not to believe. There have not been enough role models for women around the world. If my religion is not treating me right, if my community is not treating me right, I'm sorry, I'm going to judge that. I'm going to fight that. Because at the end of the day, I'm human. And I think human rights should supersede religious dogma. At this point, this work is so important. I can't even go to sleep sometimes. People want to hear strong Muslim women's voices and their stories. That can make a huge difference. Educating women is great, but empowering them to dismantle patriarchy has to go hand in hand. Because patriarchy is a universal issue, I know, but it is more predominant in the Muslim worlds, in the Muslim majority countries. So as we move forward, I want every girl to take agency. We are powerful human beings. So I founded the Muslim Women Speakers Movement. What uh, we're doing there is we're trying to showcase the diversity of the Muslim women's voices. I do a lot of work in Nigeria, about 200 miles from where Boko Haram operates, telling women um, that they have the power to, uh, to really stand up to what Islam may have said then, but what can work here now. To educate them, to empower them and give them the tools to really deconstruct uh, some of the received theology and to take agency for their relationship with the Creator. I begin the day with meditation. We peacemakers, we can't talk about peace if we are not peaceful. So. Uh, I have to be centered. I am called so many names, but I've come to accept that this work is not for the meek. The threats uh, have always been mostly name calling me and telling me that I'm not a Muslim, uh, I am a Zionist and uh, I'm an Islamophobe. Islamophobia is, is not a well-defined concept. I do not think that we Muslims can hide behind the banner of Islamophobia. We have to accept some of the things that are not working in our community. Everything is not perfect. Even our faith has contradictions. Let's own it up because the minute you say these are my faults, nobody can use it against you. So my vision is let us have women's mosques, women-led community centers in the United States. Because I believe that from the United States, we can send a powerful message to anywhere in the world.